So at the moment he's really enjoying his time at Man City. Hey guys welcome back on the channel we're here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys we touch on Kylian Mbappe. Something to clarify, Erling Haaland speaking in press conference and Casemiro. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, today in press conference ahead of the game between Manchester City and Copenhagen in Champions League, Erling Haaland spoke in press conference. And when he was asking about his future, he started saying that in a very clear way he's very happy at Manchester City with the directors, the board, the manager he mentioned he's very happy with all the people he's surrounded by at Manchester City. Then he added one sentence. He said this is going to be a big headline but you can report that one but you should mention also all the other things I say in the press conference and Erling Haaland added I am very happy at Manchester City but we never know what happens tomorrow but I'm very happy at Manchester City. That line is quite clear guys. I think what Haaland said today is something really honest, it's the reality. At the moment, also speaking to many sources, it looks unlikely, difficult to think that Erling Haaland can sit on a press conference and promise that he will play for Manchester City for his entire life. At the moment it's something he can't guarantee so I think it's really fair to mention that sentence but the reality in the present is that Haaland is very happy at Manchester City, he shares a great relationship with people at the club like Chiki Begrestein, Ferran Soriano, all the people at Manchester City, and obviously with the manager Pepe Guardiola but also with his teammates. The atmosphere in the dressing room has always been amazing between Haaland and all the other stars at Manchester City so, at the moment he's really enjoying his time at Manchester City, then in the future what he means is that we never know because things can still happen at the moment there is. Nothing ongoing in terms of discussions, nothing ongoing in terms of negotiations but in the future, the I mean it could be years, Erling Haaland could be part of the transfer market again. Then Kylian Mbappe is, and will be part of the transfer market in the next days, months, weeks but many of you are asking me. Uh, Luis Enrique decided to sub Kylian Mbappe, because of this Real Madrid story last two games Kylian Mbappe, left the pitch in the second half, then in the following game against Monaco at halftime he was subbed off by Luis Enrique, the answer is that from what I'm told Paris Saint-Germain. The president, people at the club didn't tell Luis Enrique you have to sub Kylian Mbappe, we don't want him to play this is not a message coming directly from the club, so Paris Saint-Germain are not telling Luis Enrique don't play Mbappe. Because he's going to Real Madrid this is not the situation between Mbappe, Real Madrid, PSG and Luis Enrique Enrique but Luis Enrique himself, as he's confirming also in public, wants to try things especially in the Ligue 1, because in the Ligue 1 Paris Saint-Germain can feel confident about winning the title, so he wants to test things ahead of next season. This is why in some important moments he's also deciding to try something without Kylie and Mbappe, because they know at PSG, Luis Enrique knows, teammates know and obviously the president knows that Mbappe will leave and Mbappe is negotiating in very advanced talks with Real Madrid. For Casemiro at the moment talks are not advanced but the interest from Saudi is still there, they were interested in Casemiro last summer, then around October, come November some calls to understand the situation to intermediaries but never a concrete proposal to Manchester United, let's see what Manchester United will decide with Casemiro in the next months at the moment Casemiro is super committed, this focusing on Manchester United but the interest from Saudi is still there so let's see if they will return. Maybe with a proposal for Casemiro at the moment they never sent an official formal proposal they never started a proper negotiation with Manchester United but the interest could be still there and so Casemiro could be one to watch in the summer. And so guys let me know your thoughts on Casemiro, Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel see you soon ciao.